Preparations are underway for the burial of a police reservist killed in Burmayo on the border of Wajira and Mandera. The officer was in a team deployed to the area in the wake of renewed inter-clan fighting. The security team was ambushed by a group of armed men. Two attackers were also killed while the rest escaped with the fallen officer's uniform and a G3 rifle. On Tuesday, two women were killed and another person injured in Basanicha area, Wajiri County, as a fighting between Gare and the Godia clans rage on. In Nairobi, legislators from northeastern province condemned the ongoing attacks, saying the government's complacency has aggravated the situation. During these clashes, lives and livelihoods have been lost, thousands of households have been displaced, and insecurity and tension heightened causing panic and uncertainty. We like to appeal to the government to take its share of responsibility so that that region can see peace, so that we can be talking about development and not talking about uh, how to make peace in every other year. And in Mombasa, the Muslim human rights group, Muhuri, is now claiming that officers from the anti-terror police unit were planning to carry out several killings. Mashahidi wengine, ambao ATPU wamewambia kwamba hizi siku zijazo wako na list ya watu kama hamsini hivi ambao wanalenga kuwaua sio kuwashika sio kuwafungulia mashtaka lakini wanalenga kuwaua kwa hivyo nahofia maisha yangu ya kuatarini pamoja na hao watu wengine wako kwa hiyo list ni watu ambao wanafanya biashara zao hapa town Meanwhile, top security officers in Mombasa met today and it emerged that uncoordinated police patrols and lack of information sharing among security officers could be the reason behind the increase in cases of insecurity at the coast. Crime we are around here, ni MRC, ni MRC. So every crime ni MRC, we are wrong on that. Let's, let's, let's do target policy. Still in Mombasa, police have recovered a bomb which had not exploded at Inuka police station. The device was drawn after it had been lit, but uh, fortunately enough, the explosive did not catch fire. Jamila Mohammed, NTV.